So it's finally here, fall. The air is getting a little bit chillier. The leaves are turning different colors. Who am I kidding? I'm in Florida. It's still 90 degrees. Anyways, just because it's still warm outside doesn't mean I can't enjoy the finer things in life. And by finer things in life, I mean pumpkin themed goodies. These days around this time of the year, everything is pumpkin spice. There's pumpkin spice candles, pumpkin spice soap, pumpkin spice Oreos, and even pumpkin spice deodorant. So the hallmark drink for this time of the year for us basic bees is the pumpkin spice latte. However, if you are vegan, you may know that the pumpkin spice latte is not vegan. Even if you replace the milk with coconut milk or almond milk, the pumpkin spice sauce in the drink still has milk in it. And you can trust me on this. I used to be a barista. Let me prove it to you. I worked there for about one month. <laughs> See? Nika. Starbucks also came out with something called the pumpkin spice chai tea latte and if it uses the pumpkin spice sauce, it probably still won't be vegan. Another thing about Starbucks drinks is that they're overly sweet to the point where it's sickly sweet, so I just wanted to DIY a pumpkin drink for all of us to enjoy, and this is what I've come up with. I'm gonna take this off now. Don't need that. Now the first thing you wanna do is gather your spices. I love my spices when it comes to chai tea. I throw a lot in there. If you don't like spices, then please tone it down a little bit. I'm Indian, it's in my blood, I love spices. So I used about five cardamom pods. I also added about two cloves to that mixture. Remember to crush those up, get your water to a simmering state. I just use three-fourths a cup of water. It's just for one serving, and I'm gonna add about three-fourths a cup of almond milk to it. And the type of tea I'm using is just normal black tea because that's standard for a chai. But if you want to cut some corners, I recommend the Stash Premium Double Spice Chai Black Tea because that is super spicy and you'd probably still get that authentic spicy taste through that. So when the water started simmering, I added the cardamom pods and the clove ground together. I added half of a cinnamon stick, which is about one inch of a cinnamon stick. I also sliced up some ginger for this recipe. I'm a huge ginger fan, so I put a lot more than someone would usually put in there. Just bring it back in a little bit if you're not a ginger fan. And then after that, I added a star anise. And then after that, you just let all of that simmer together, hang out with each other. How much you want it to simmer solely depends on how strong you want the tea to be. I let it simmer for quite a while because I just love strong teas. Now, while the water is simmering, you can get your pumpkin ready. So you can go get your pumpkin and we'll get ready to gut it in. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're going for the can. I do not have time. We got a pumpkin, cut it up, roast it, puree it. Nope, I do not have time for that. So just grab a can, open it up, and you're gonna take about a tablespoon of that. So once you let your water become fragrant with the spices and the teas, you're just going to add your one tablespoon of pumpkin to that. And after that, add the 3 fourths cup of almond milk. You can also add your sweetener and then just whisk it all together. And honestly, it's as easy as that. You just mix it all, make sure it's all incorporated and smooth. And then when you're happy with it, you can just strain it out into your cup of choice. You could even top it off with a little pumpkin spice. And there you go. That's the pumpkin spice chai. I have it right here and let's taste. That's, yeah, that's... <laughs> That's really good. I'm definitely gonna make this again for sure. And it's, it's definitely not as overly sweet as a chai from Starbucks, but if overly sweet things are your thing, then you could just adjust the sweetener to however you prefer. So I guess that's probably gonna be it for now. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.